Hello, I'm a Mac. And I'm a PC. Well, I can't believe 2007's over. PC was a great year, though, huh, buddy? Not really. What do, you, what do you mean? I came out with Vista. That didn't work very well. Some people are downgrading to XP. Meanwhile, you come out with your new operating system, Leopard, a new right. iMac, lots of new iPods. Oh, the iPhone. I almost forgot the iPhone. Right. It was a terrible year. But next year, looking forward to the future, 2008 is going to be the year of the PC. That's a great attitude, PC. What do you got planned? What are you going to do? I'm just going to copy everything you did in 2007. Welcome to Macworld 2008. We've got some, some great stuff for you. There's clearly something in the air today. But before we dive into all of that, I just wanted to take a moment and look back to 2007. 2007 was an extraordinary year for Apple. Some incredible new products. The, the amazing new iMac, the awesome new iPods, and of course, the revolutionary iPhone. On top of that, Leopard and all of the other great software we shipped in 2007. It was an extraordinary year for Apple, and I want to just take a moment and say thank you. We had tremendous support by all of our customers, and we really, really appreciate it. So thank you for an extraordinary 2007. Thank you. So I've got four things I'd like to talk about with you today. So let's get started. The first one is Leopard. I'm thrilled to report that we have delivered over 5 million copies of Leopard in the first 90 days. Unbelievable. It is the most successful release of Mac OS X ever. And what this has resulted in is almost 20% of the Mac OS X installed base is now upgraded to Leopard. This is unprecedented in the first 90 days for both us and, of course, the industry. So we're really, really thrilled by this. And the press has been very kind, too. It's been a critical success as well as a commercial success. In my view, Leopard is better and faster than Vista. Walt Mossberg, a man of few words. Leopard is powerful, polished, and carefully conceived. David Pope, the New York Times. With Leopard, Apple's operating system widens its lead aesthetically and technologically. Ed Begg, USA Today. And it's by far the best operating system ever written for the vast majority of consumers. Right? Ed Mendelssohn, PC Magazine. So, in addition to getting great critical reviews, Leopard has really uh, been well received by our developers. And one of the things that's being announced, announced today is uh, Microsoft is now shipping Office Mac 2008, uh, their latest version of Office. And this is, this is the last big app to go native on Intel. So we're finally there. Uh, all of the big apps now are native on Intel. Thank you, uh, Adobe. Thank you, Microsoft. Uh, all the apps native on Intel. So we're pretty thrilled. So in Tiger, we, had, we have a bunch of great new features, as you know. And one of them is Time Machine. Time Machine is really great because it can automatically back up all your files and uh, save them to a hard disk. And as you know, the way Time Machine works is you take an external hard drive and plug it into your computer, and everything else is automatic. It works great. If you have a notebook, though, you're constantly plugging in that hard drive and unplugging it, and you're in places uh, where you forgot to bring that hard drive and you want to get a backup. You wish that you didn't need that wire, right? You wish it was like this. Well, today we're introducing a companion product to Time Machine. It's going to do away with that wire forever. It's called Time Capsule. <laughs> and what it is, it's really clever. It's a backup appliance. And what it has in it is an airport extreme base station, a full airport extreme base station, and a hard drive. 
So it's got 802.11n wireless networking, the most advanced Wi-Fi networking available, and it's got a server-grade hard drive in it. So it's very reliable. And these two things together make up Time Capsule. And as you can see, it's a full Airport Extreme base station with all the ports in the back. Really nice. And so you can back up your notebook wirelessly to Time Capsule. As a matter of fact, you can back up all the Macs in your house, whether they be notebooks or desktops, wirelessly to one Time Capsule. Just literally plug it in, turn it on, and enable Time Capsule or Time Machine on all your Macs, and that's all you have to do. It's really wonderful. We're going to sell Time Capsule in two versions. A 500, one with a 500 megabyte drive, or gigabyte, sorry, 500 gigabyte drive inside it, and one with a terabyte drive inside it. The 500 gigabyte drive model is going to cost just $299, and the, the terabyte model is going to be just $499. These are very aggressive prices because we want people backing up their content. And Time Capsule is going to ship in February. It's the perfect companion product to Time Machine. We've got an ad running on Time Machine. I hope you've seen it. But if you haven't, I'd love to run it for you now. Hello, I'm Mac. Uh, what's, what's with all of the use? Oh, yeah, this is my new backup feature, Time Machine. Oh. It automatically makes copies of me every hour. So if I accidentally delete a file, I can always find it. Exactly. Plus, it's part of Leopard, so it comes on every Mac. Hmm. Well, I have to say, Mac, that's pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah, thanks, PC. Yeah, thanks, PC. Oh, thanks, PC. Thanks, PC. Yeah, thanks, PC. Okay. Yeah, thanks, You're PC. welcome, all of you. You don't have to go down the whole line. So that's Time Capsule, a perfect companion to Leopard, and that's the first thing I wanted to share with you this morning. So number two, number two is about the iPhone. I've got some great news for you. Now today happens to be exactly the 200th day since the iPhone went on sale. Right? iPhone's been shipping for exactly 200 days today. And I'm extraordinarily pleased to report that we have sold 4 million iPhones to date. If you, if you divide 4 million by 200 days, that's 20,000 iPhones every day on average. So we're really pleased with this. Now, what does this mean in terms of the overall market? Well, let's take a look at the U.S. smartphone market share uh, that the iPhone has achieved. Now, this is data from Gartner, and the, the most recent data we can get is really just for the, the, the third calendar quarter ending in September. So this is, this is iPhone's first quarter of shipment ever. And uh, so the market share in the U.S., RIM had the highest market share with 39%, right? They do a great job, highest market share. Next was the iPhone. Its first quarter shipping, it garnered 19.5% market share. Now let's look at number three, four, and five. Palm with 9.8%, Motorola with 7.4%, and Nokia with 1.3%. And then other, the category with everybody else in it, 20.2%. So the iPhone, in its first 90 days of shipping, garnered almost a 20% market share of the U.S. smartphone market. What's equally interesting to this is if you take number three, four, and five, Palm, Motorola, and Nokia together, and you add up their market shares, it was 20.3. We equaled them in the first 90 days of shipment. And we just about equaled other, which is everybody else put together in our first quarter. And when the numbers come out for the December quarter, we think we're going to have done even better. So this is our first 90 days, 4 million iPhones to date. Now, what everybody's really excited about is the software development kit that we're going to release in late February to our developers. 
This is really exciting, a chance for all of our developers to write incredible apps on the iPhone. But we wanted to give everybody something today, too. And so we've got some great new features we're rolling out on the iPhone today. First, maps with location. We've completely rewritten the UI, and we now have the ability to find your current location in maps. Web clips. You can now make web clips of your favorite websites and put them right on the home screen. You can customize the home screen and create up to nine total home screens that you can flick between. You can SMS multiple people at once. When you're watching videos, you can 